Well, now tell me a little bit about making polvorones. Mm. Pol tell me about making polvorones. Why should I tell you about making polvorones? Would you I please? I do not bake anything. Well, but you watched them made. You know how to do it. Tell me about well, it. Well, you did a beautiful job. Well, those things are great. I would say that the only thing I would uh, improve would be a little bit more uh, ground cinnamon. Just a little bit more. Because I know it's in there. But I think there should be more, and, and they should be a little bit smaller. Because that size, you eat a lot of dough. Mm hmm. And the, the, the usual size is about like that. About like. No, 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 no. Small, 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 small. 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 About the size of a. Totally the size of a. between a dime and a nickel. Not very big. Hmm? Not very big. Very good. No, but not very big. Oh, no. Because then you see you. you then you're dealing with more dough, and they're just like, like a, like, like a... The size of a marble. No, a little tiny bit bigger than that, and, and you, you roll the masa to the size of the, like you say, the marble. Could you show me how you roll the masa? Hmm? Show me with your hands how you do this. You just roll it. A little ball. And then what do you do with it? Well, then when you finish rolling into a ball, then you put your thumb in the middle of the ball, and that's what gives it that sh shape. And why do you put your thumb in the middle of it? Because that's the way they do it. And they'll get picky with me because... <laughs> I I never have liked to do deal with the oven. But that's all right. You're telling me how to make them. And then you put them on the cookie sheet. Hmm? You put these little things on the cookie sheet and put them in the oven and bake them. And what happens when you take them out of the oven? What do you do with these? You let them fall into another cookie sheet on the table. And, and during this transaction, you pass them through a bowl of sugar and cinnamon. And when they're hot, you see they were made with a lot of grease, a lot of uh, Lard. Sh shortening. Yes. And uh, and that's all there is to it. The only thing is that they're very small, and when you make them, you are prepared to make at least 200 to begin with. Why are you laughing? <laughs> because that's what happened. <laughs> we made about 200 of them. <laughs> did you? Yeah. How, how many did you make? I don't know. We didn't count them, but there was a whole lot. <laughs> and you know they last forever and ever. Yes, I know. You can make them. This is 2011. We could probably eat them in 2020. I know, but you could uh, really, even even uh, this, even even the uh, the two thousand twenty or the two thousand not twenty, um, 
You could just put them away, but you'd have to put them away in a closed container. Airtight. I think if I were doing it, I'm always telling people how to do things better, you know. I never knew that. Yes. I didn't suspect that. You did that? I can't believe this. What? That you told people how to do things. Oh, my friends used to say it in, in, uh, in National City, oh sure, you're always telling people how to do things, but you don't do them. <laughs> and we don't have the time to do them. Yes. But they last a long time. I want you to tell me about 